we are getting some answers finally. Something about the human king, something about making his people all try to be awakened through some kind of mutation, which I assume has to be the toxins that's creeping up from the demon realm to the human realm. Even though there was a crystal, a barrier put in place, Helk specifically mentioned that he had met these monsters that can only be formed if they are exposed to the toxins. Now, I don't know if that he meant that in the human realm or on his way to the demon realm. However, that's the best we can go from here on out. What are we doing now? We gotta, we gotta find the witch. The whole thing with the final battle with the four lords, Asdara, right? Damn, these characters, I thought were kind of joke characters because let's get serious. In every scene they were in, they were kind of in very comical situations. I think that was intentional. I think they wanted to do that. So the impact during the fight of when they get serious is so much more heightened, right? I hope we get more answers today. Let's begin today's reaction. Dude, Hashirama cells, unlock. How many of them were there? Like 10,000 people? Or is it 1,000? Regardless, my man is one of the four elite lords. He might ruin this epic moment by saying something, you know, dumb about like simping over Vermichan. Empire's trees. So it probably can't work in the human realm, but here, okay. He's the weakest? That's kind of insane. Oh. Okay. It's very conditional base, right? If there are trees, then he's the strongest. But, you know, if there's no trees, then you're fucked, right? Yep, there's three more. That's the thing about the awakened heroes is that it takes a long time to ramp up their powers, right? Right now they're kind of weak, but if they keep if they keep evolving, if they keep awakening, they could probably compete. The humans are ruthless and evil. Right now, think about Azdura, right? His position, his friends were killed by the humans, yet he's still vouching for a peace. What? Thunder arrow? Who? Oh, you were pierced it. I love how I was that I was like, oh, oh shit, I'm gonna have to actually defend myself, but there's just more backup. All right. If there weren't helmets, they're usually trash, right? If you can see their face, then they're a little bit more important. 30 minute barrier is finally up. <laughs> yeah, whose barrier is working better right now? I wonder if our, you know, Doris Dorish's barrier is actually just like, uh, not that big of a deal. So the other guy doing is doing all the. Like, they don't care about their own people, huh? Yeah, like the humans don't care for each other. Why is that the case? Why are they killing their own? They just don't give a shit? That's the culture? Arrows were used to kill them, and then they disappeared. It's almost as if they want to silence these guys. Like, you better not tell anything. Ruin your plans? Yo, this guy has arrows sticking out of his head. For what? What did you gain, though? This run. Maybe they can resurrect again in different bodies? I don't know. Uh -huh. True, but if you die, then it's done, isn't it? Hmm. Suicide attack? What happens to you after you die? Ah, there's the twist! What is... That's kind of broken, though. They can just keep killing themselves. They keep getting stronger. Keep getting more awakening experience. Like, there has to be a limit. How can they keep doing this? Human realm? The title is called The Human King. Oh, look at them. Are, are, are they getting resurrected right now? Or what's going on? Are, are they, like, respawning? Or are they just, like, I don't know, being summoned here? Of course he's wearing a mask. But very familiar voice actor. There he is! He died just now, but he resurrected in the same body. Huh. Nah, bro, you guys are the fucking threat. There he is, you know, Helk's like a uh, junior. Reclaim true peace by waging war against the world. Yo, she needs to get the fuck out. You need to get the fuck out of here. This is so bad. I forget if her name is Ista or Asta, but... Yo. They're being resurrected, all of them. But how? What is the limit of how much they can do this? I don't know, they all look the same to me, except for the ones that doesn't have a helmet on. This shit is so dangerous. You gotta go home right now, but... Is she gonna be okay? 
the human king. But of course, he's wearing a mask. What does he look like? Yo, we got, uh, she, better, she better be safe. This shit's so dangerous. Then you should drink my... All right, because she needs to, you know, obviously drink. I don't know how useful of a skill that is. It's very situational. For spies, for intelligent networking, it's very useful like this, right? What can we do? Wage war against the humans? All we can do is really... We should, we should we need to stop them before they awaken, right? That's the most important thing. If they keep awakening, it actually gets dangerous. But right now, we're at a point where we can stop them. Hmm? Northern. Oh, shit. Wait, we're getting way more world building now. Ah, we don't have to worry about them. Ah, they're fucking trash. But maybe they have more heroes now. Where are the current humans from? Or the human king? Where are they right now? Are, are they from the east region? Yeah, the humans are ranked really fucking low. Ouch. Thanks. But yeah, but what if they're all heroes and they all continue to awaken as heroes and resurrect and awaken and resurrect and awaken? Uh-huh. That is fucking... That's like top of the top. Oh. A situation where all of them... All of them awakening as proper heroes. Well, right now, yeah, because they haven't ramped up. They're still in the early game. Early game, they fucking suck. But, like, they're going to keep getting stronger and it's going to be dangerous. Right, but the problem is they're probably going to grow to, like, threat level 100. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what the limit is, but... And it's not just one hero. It's an army of heroes. Yeah, the assumption here is not that anymore. They will keep growing. We don't know what the cap is. Exactly. What is this dude? Higher than triple S. And yeah. It's like a territory we don't even can't even like categorize. And we're just getting gangbanged. And we're right in the middle. We're actually just getting gangbanged from every front. Here's an idea. How about we eliminate the humans? But we just kill them all. We can't do that, because ethically, I don't think that demons will do that. Plus, they can just resurrect. What is the fucking answer? Talk no jutsu. You need to reason with them. You need to somehow forge peace, but I don't think the human king's down to do that. Maybe if we kill the human king, none of them can resurrect again. I don't know enough about the mechanics here. How though? How does that even work? Yeah... Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that it's the human king that is casting that magic, right? So we just we need to just do all out assault into the human kingdom right now. They should stop resurrecting. And we need to go right now, because the more we wait, the stronger they become. It's a guess, right? Imagine what he's saying is wrong. Like this is all just a guess. But what if it isn't? It's the best we can go by. Imagine it doesn't work. Imagine we invade, we kill the human king. He resurrects, everyone else keeps resurrecting. That's the exact one. That's interesting. Absolute obedience no matter what. So the spell in itself is pretty much just like propaganda brainwashing. They themselves are an awakened being. Huh? So not a hero. So different kind of class. It's not a hero, but it's an awakened some class that can do these kind of supporting magic. Alright. If you go now, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it? <laughs> We're just gonna have to hope for the best? Alright, fuck it. I wonder how much stronger they become. Because they just die, but did they gain that much experience from it? Elite unit of warriors. Imagine the elite unit is just these guys right now. Alright, enjoy your lunch time. Alright. Yes. Well, they're very, uh, enthusiastic. Yeah, Ken Rose is more about just running away. Maybe? No answer, huh? Yura. 
Uh, these are kind of like death flags, isn't it? Isn't this kind of like death flags? Oh shit! I hope she's fine. Don't don't hurt the cat girls, please. Yeah, that's just. Then what's the point of your power? <laughs> we need the information. And when will that happen? With Hel I think Helk and Remikins will meet. You know. Them it, during war, maybe they all converge into the same spot while attacking. Are you sure? I thought it might be just random, but okay. All right, what is, what, it looks like a little toy. Uh, okay, the contract. No, okay, just words of encouragement, sure. And an orange. Good for vitamin C, guys. Uh. Alright, he's just gonna just basically send these items over. I wonder if it'll actually make it to Vermikins. Oh, Hon can probably go in there. Hon, jump in there. What? Hon get transported in. Never mind. <laughs> Would be hilarious if Hon somehow got sucked in. Damn, it takes that much energy to make that portal, huh? Holy fuck! I didn't realize it was that serious, man! Nah, I think Astuda has been hard carrying. No, Astuda has been putting in a lot of work with everyone gone. I wonder where the other two elite lords are. Was there some reason as to why they're not here right now? I forget. Oh, it's this bird thing again. What are you, bro? Why are you so cute? Oh, I found it! It worked! You better not eat the orange. Don't do it. Don't do it! No, it's not for you! <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. It was Vermikin's favorite fruit, but... Whatever, I guess. The secret is Helg's sweat. He's just saying that to make her feel better. Watson well, be like, oh, Vermikin, it'd be better if it tastes like this instead. I think she's doing this because she wants, you know, help to be like, wow, it tastes good. Because right now it doesn't, right? Eating your food. Oh, no. It was a present for Vermikin from Astuda. Oh, no, that the... Well, I guess it's not that big a deal, but damn, he really just fucked us up. That green bird is a fucking menace. Good. Thank God it's so cute so we can forgive it. But the orange, it was an important fruit for Vermikins. And the letter, actually, it was just words of encouragement. So at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. I think it was fucking adorable that it ate it. I don't know. We're getting more plot, though, with the Human King. Everyone's getting resurrected. How? The Human King probably can. is an awakened class of their own. They can somehow, I, I don't know, like resurrect all these humans. And the most important thing is undevoted loyalty for the human king no matter what so it's like all these humans are basically brainwashed and that's why the human has complete control over them how did this all happen i have no clue but we're getting more answers the north region triple s rank threat now we haven't even fought them yet but that seems pretty important but right now i think we're more along you know focused on the humans which are on the east side which i'm not sure if i'm interpreting it correctly but that's like what it is and the west and the south side doesn't really matter. Low rank, low rank uh, threats. It's kind of crazy that the demon realm is just getting gangbanged right in the middle. How is everything kind of intertwined together? I think Helka and Vermikins, they're going to get some kind of answer from the Great Witch. Maybe they'll somehow end up into the human kingdom to, I, I don't know, figure shit out. And then we'll meet like Azdra's men and everybody that goes over there together. My best guess. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.